Hey y'all, so this is weird, I know, but I literally was just washing my face and I wiped my face off and my hairs are coming out of my chin. So, I don't know, I find that very interesting. Um, look at that, can y'all see that? More hairs, they're just like coming out as I wipe my face. Like, wait, hold on, let me wipe my face again. Another hair. So they're just falling out. Ah! Here's my lip. Most of the hair is gone. This one hair is being stubborn right here. Um, but the rest just came on out. And then my chin. Good afternoon, folks. So I just left workout. Um, it was my last my last workout at Nike today. I'm actually really sad about it because like I had a lot of fun working out with them um, and I feel like I'm not gonna work out as consistently. I'm not gonna speak it though. I'm gonna try to be consistent with my working out now even though I don't have an official trainer anymore. Um, Cam is supposed to be helping me out so we'll see how it goes but I'm kind of sad because workouts are over at Nike. I had a lot of fun with them, got a lot of cool stuff so you know I have a lot to show for it. The gains have been real. I feel thick. So I'm here at La Piel. Oops, sorry. I don't know who that guy is. I don't think he wants to be in my vlog. La Piel Laser Center. Sitting in the car. The dude tried to give me a ticket, but I have paid for my parking already, bruh. Don't do me, okay? I paid for my parking today. I'm not getting a ticket today, okay? <sighs> um, but I'm about to go in now and follow up for my next laser appointment in the past couple weeks it's been almost a month since I went back and my hair is very thin if anything I have maybe one or two hairs that grew back in we are smooth we're gonna go in now because my appointments at 12 and it is exactly 12 o'clock so we're gonna go in and have our second treatment Woo what are we talking about um talking about side effects and the long-term results and things like that okay so I feel like the most questions that I get and the most concerns that people have tend to be about long-term effects of being exposed to the razor, like is this, or the laser. Is this gonna cause any problems with me being able to have kids or fertility or am I gonna get some type of skin cancer from this later on? The answer to that is no. Um, a lot of people think that it's new. I think more so African-American people think it's newer because we're just starting to find out that we can use this on our skin. Mm -hmm. Where when these lasers first came out, it was more so meant for really, really fair-skinned people with really uh, dark hair because right. the laser couldn't decide between the skin and the hair but now with the lasers that we have now we're able they're, they're pretty much the same laser so the effects on your skin are the same just the lasers are a little bit more advanced in the sense that they can decipher between dark skin color and then dark hair right that makes sense um, the most side effects that you're going to get are going to be so more so local okay right so it's going to be maybe some redness to the area right after um, sometimes after the first treatment sometimes people get more ingrowns because your body is trying to push the hair out and it doesn't really know what to do what's yeah. going on but other than that honestly the side effects are very minimal and the redness that you have right after the procedure goes away within the next day or so yeah so i did experience a little bit of like i had maybe like one whitehead pop up mm -hmm. and then i had more like nodule pimples like mm -hmm. they were kind of like hard but it wasn't anything in it um, so I had like one or two pop up the week that the hair was still there, um, but they went they went down and you couldn't really even see it. I could mm -hmm. feel it, but it didn't hurt or anything. Mm -hmm. It was just like oh, I noticed like a pimple. Or right. But after that, they they went away. It was fine. So that can be caused from what we call crepitus, which is basically the hair kind of pushing itself out and then the follicle pushing itself out as okay. well. Okay. So it's almost like think about a pimple. What is a pimple? It's basically any bacteria or dead skin particles that get stuck underneath the skin. Okay. So the same thing happens with ingrown hair. So as our body from the laser is pushing the hair out and pushing the hair follicles, sometimes it gets stuck under the skin, then that's how we end up with the pimple. But once the hair follicle is completely gone, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Well, yeah. No, that's no. it. That's it. So we're gonna get started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting. I'm horrible at this. All right, guys. I was asking, is the hair gonna grow back the same? Like, if it, if if it grows back in, is it gonna grow back thick or whatever? Okay. And she so was explaining. We start over. Yeah, she was explaining that your hair grows in cycles. So some hairs grow in 
right? Some of your hairs grow in and the others don't. So you have some that are growing right now that are actively growing in the growth phase. Then you have others that in four to six weeks, that's when they'll be in the active phase. Okay. So last time we targeted the ones that were in the active phase. This time we're also targeting the ones in the active phase. So you'll see that there's like a different amount of hair or a different level of hair that grows each time. So every time we're targeting different hairs and then sometimes we'll, we'll get to the point where we're targeting the same hairs twice. Right, so that's why you have to come in for multiple treatments, and there's that space in between so that we can target those hairs that are in the active growth cycle. But as it does grow back, you'll start to see that it gets thinner and thinner and thinner until so some hair particles will never grow again. You'll not see that same hair, and then sometimes people have like one or two little kind of peach fuzzy hairs that just don't respond to the treatment. Okay. But those are very, very thin, um, they won't cause those same type of ingrowns or that skin irritation. They're just kind of like peach fuzz. I just remembered another question that somebody else had. Um, for women who do have hormonal um, imbalances or like PCOS or something like that. Yeah, so we see a lot of women with PCOS because you do end up getting this male pattern hair growth. Okay. Which means hair around your chin, a lot of people get it on their back, on their buttocks, like the actual outside the cheeks. Um, lower back, mm -hmm. shoulders, so we see a lot of them with PCOS. So hormonal hair growth is a little bit more difficult to target, however, it does work. When it's hormonal, it's a little bit more difficult to treat. So you'll need more sessions and then you'll need more um, maintenance. For instance, like after you've done all your treatments, you might have to come back once or twice a year just for a touch up. Whereas if you have PCOS, you might have to come back three to four times a year. Okay, gotcha, sense. gotcha. Because some people were, were worried about that. I don't have PCOS, but I know a lot of people do. Yeah, a lot of women suffer with a lot PCOS. Of people, a lot of women do, it's very common. And um, they were asking, you know, they were like, oh, it's not gonna be permanent for me. I'm gonna have to keep going back. But yeah, you're gonna have to keep going back, but it won't be as bad. Exactly, exactly. There's a significant reduction. And we have women here who have PCOS that are literally here like every however many couple months that they need to come. But for them, they feel like it's worth it, you okay. know, because of the, the amount of reduction, um, the how long it lasts. You don't have to worry about the waxing and the ingrowns and all of that. So it's just a more cleaner hair removal process. Gotcha. Okay. Just wanted to answer you guys' questions. I just left my laser appointment and we are Gucci I'm so excited guys after one appointment my hair like I'm just excited and it's probably gonna look better with as time goes I may be like a four or five session person I don't have to do all eight you know what I mean like God would really bless me like that I feel like he would he loved me sometimes not all, not sometimes all the time I feel like it hurt a little more this time I think because I was prepared like I knew how it was gonna feel so I don't know or maybe I forgot but the chin it still wasn't bad like I feel fine right now it doesn't like hurt you know what I mean I'm going to go but I'm excited